you uh, indicated there was a, a, a large penis, I believe. Where was that? Uh, I believe it was just like if you're looking at this, I believe it was on the wall. Last time on D&D. &D. Dear Diary, this is uh, as the second fortnight of uh, the Empire is embarking us from the capital, and we've explored the island, but the island sank in a violent storm, and in its wake, uh, a, a whirlpool in the sea that leads down into a chasm, the large pillar. There's nothing on the pillar except a set of staircase that led down, and that's where we're heading. Oh yeah, that's where we're at. The oh, pillar. Yeah. Some you crazy shit happened on the ship, including Anya being pregnant randomly. Yes. Argyle, dearest wife, I don't know anything that's happening. I was on an island. Is that right? Now I'm in a hole. The end. The I love you. end. Oh, is this a new map? Oh, you didn't see the destiny last time. Holy moly. Oh, oh, Cameron. Yes. Cameron hasn't seen the destiny. Oh, yeah, dude, this is the ship. This is a sick ship. This is the shit ship. Shit ship. That's down the sick bay. And who knows what that really was. <laughs> who knows indeed. Steve. Wink, it's wink. Steve nudge, nudge. Anyway. Yeah. Um so yes, that's the ship and uh there are also I have the group down delving into the tip of that towering phallus in the darkness. I have the group as Argyle Guthix. The War, Rumby, Anya, and Ren. Is that accurate? Anya. Anya's oh, on wait. the boat pregnant. Oh There's yeah. Anya is not here. Am I am I right about everybody else, or is that totally off? Wait, that's totally off, because isn't the War also on the boat? Dang yes, it. the War should be on the boat. Dang it. Alright. That's an old note. Where is the new note? We got those new notes. Yeah, things are... Okay. Ha, ah, that's probably better. All right, all right. So, first, Solus, Wren, Sid, Kegel, Gothix, Argyle. Accurate? All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, our awesome. Okay, okay, okay. I uh I had an old an old set of notes up. So now I have the current set. All right. That's good. And then Mike on the airship, of course, and then everybody else back on the ship. I have here in my notes that our plan uh, was to look around the hole for 12 hours, and if we didn't return, then um, Mike would come back with a search party. Yes. Yeah, that sounds uh, that sounds probably probably accurate. So we'll go ahead and say that that is what's happening, or at least so far. Assuming that you can get back in 12 hours. Dun, dun, dun. So heading down those steps. All right. So let's see. Solus is up. Uh, what do we have going on as far as your lighting situation? Uh, Solus can hold a torch. Is is that uh, is that your only light? I just want to be sure. Since we're theater Unless... of the mind in it, um, I am gonna Unless... go ahead. Unless we have continual light on something, but uh... 
not have that character. Uh, okay. All right. So I am going to go ahead and give you guys a bit of a blank map here. In order to, uh, you know, do whatever you need. If you want to make notes or draw dicks or whatever it is you, you guys do. It's right there. there. Yeah, excellent. All right. Cool, cool. Lots of dicks. So, Solus begins well, to... fuck. What? What? Never mind. I, I'm just very pissed off right now. What? Oh. No. Okay. Does it have to do with the game? No, it has to do with planes and trains and the CDC. Oh. <laughs> reinstates recommendations for masks on planes and trains. Oh, no. And all I can say is, fuck. Uh, because trains and automobiles. Because I'm going to be on a plane and on a train. Gotcha. In two weeks. I didn't know they ever lifted it for airports. They lifted it. No, they were on that. All that shit was lifted. Fuck well, it. that sucks. Oh, well. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Cancel me. Yeah. Whatever. You Don't cancel. Care. Whatever. Cancel. Bye, Dan. See you. All right. So, Solus descends the stairs into the dark. Is that is so? That's it. Solus has the torch. Solus has a torch. And nobody else has a torch. Just uh, for the I record, Ar before you go down. Arga because Argyle is last, mm -hmm. I guess Argyle will go ahead and carry a torch. That Light way, we're torch. lit at both. Okay. We'll, we're lit at both ends. Torch. Both ends. Uh, uh, we're lit. Uh, totally. Uh, lit. All right. Cool. Aren't they doing like a live action Beavis and Butthead? I feel like that wouldn't be as good. Yeah, I feel like that would be kind of fucking stupid. <laughs> Who are they going to get Owen Wilson? You do a lot of stupid shit. That's true. That's like pretty much modern Hollywood. You descend down into the darkness, and you realize that in this beginning portion, as you first enter this place, the stairs seem to be suspended uh meaning that once you enter the hole and go down these stairs there's no like wall directly to one side or the other it's open and the stairs are kind of like suspended possibly on some kind of a thin column so if i reach out to either side there's no wall that i can touch no, no, there's okay. no wall. And in, in fact, you can see the wall, but it's like kind of, you know, far off. It's like, far, okay. it's, it's like, you know, kind of, there's a, there's a wall maybe about you, just at the end of your edge of your vision to your right, and then a wall just at the edge of your vision to the left. But there's definitely no wall. Like you can kind of you could lean over easily, and and in fact, uh, there's no railing or anything like that. So you could easily fall, and it. Uh, well, at the moment you can't see the where the stairs All lead. Right. Who's doing the cannonball? Well, that's Solus usually Solus. Up. Yeah, <laughs> he's he's usually the one to just dive down, right? But, uh, so you can see that the the stairs they kind of go down, and then uh, you can Sola sees ahead of him about twenty feet down, they kind of like curve back on themselves. Mm, okay. Does that make sense? They kind of they curve back to the right, of, so that they're kind of moving back the other direction. So it just reversed, like, 
we were looking at it as like it was spinning clockwise. It would spinning counterclockwise now. Uh, kind of, but it's not. Yeah, like so you're it's you're not spinning, but yeah, you so know, you're I mean, like you're like headed down the stairs, and you're actually getting closer to the wall that's in front of you, to the point where. When you get down to the bottom of the stairs, you're maybe about five feet from the wall in front of you. You could, if it wasn't for the chasm, you could you could almost, you know, if you had a long enough arm, could almost reach out and touch that arm. If you had a ten-foot pole, you could definitely poke that uh, wall with a ten-foot pole. I have um, a ten-foot pole. But uh, forgot. You know, probably nobody brought their ten-foot pole today. Hey, um, Argyle did. Argyle always ten-foot pole. <laughs> you said ten foot pole. <laughs> There's your live action. Oh, well, you said a ten foot pole. <laughs> yeah, poles. <laughs> right. <laughs> so does the uh, do the stairs looping back in on themselves? Do we see them leading into somewhere? They just like... keep continuing down. Okay. Well. Down we go. So you kind of uh, make your way around this corner, as it were, where the stairs kind of come back on on themselves. Is anybody doing anything, any kind of like active search on the stairs? Any, you know, any anything? Or are you oh, just yeah. you're just kind of following Solus, just trying to stay on the steps? Because or being they're boulder trapped on the stairs for <laughs> sure. Because they are pretty thin, like you, it would be difficult to pass one another. Let's put it this way: if if someone started to come up the stairs, for example, well, that would cause uh, quite a concern. You're not inspiring a lot of confidence here, Steve. Where is this going? So, uh, you continue down uh, another maybe. 20 or 30 feet uh, once again you start to get close to where the wall is and uh, the stairs double back on themselves again continue further down are are the steps completely smooth or are there is, is there like rubble is there something that that maybe somebody could pick up like a like a stone or or something and like drop and see if there's any way to hear the bottom so you argyle sees oh, the stone as mostly smooth not like perfectly smooth because if it was perfectly smooth you'd fall off fun. this shit yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. you'd be done um but like rock you know uh Ren, on the other hand, uh, as we have already established, and I don't know if you guys remember this or not, but... Yeah, Ren's um, got his seeing thing going on. Yeah, yeah. Ren sees these steps as uh, something the entirely and different. Flesh and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. He so, sees a nice fleshy rock testicle. Yeah, something real fucking weird and gross. So. Cast that. it into the abyss. Correct. So, Solus continuing on? I don't see what else he would do. All right. He keeps going until finally he can see that the stairs in front of him, well, there's a gap. There's a gap in the stairs. Yeah, yeah. So there's like about a five foot gap where there's... How steep are these stairs? So each stair has a rise of maybe about 10 inches. Man, that's, that's a, a steep long, stair. That's a long yeah. step. Yeah. Dude, that is, that is, that's a long step. They're pretty big steps. They're pretty so what, tall. If the rise, if the rise is like ten inches, what's the the what's run? The, uh, what's the run? The tread. The, the it it is also about ten or eleven inches. They're roughly kind of big cube 
cubish. That's terrible. Yeah. That's larger than man-sized stairs. They're a little well, big. Uh, an average step is 7 by 11, so take that as you will. Um, so here's the thing. The, uh, the gap, is it on a straight or is it on a curve? Or is all are all the steps on a curve? No, no. It goes straight and then kind of like doubles back on itself at each end. It's oh, so in the middle a of a straight. Yeah, so there's never okay. really a curve. It, there's kind of a little bit of a... There's like a... a oh, wait. So are, are we looking at like a dog tread stair where it's like... We got landings at both sides. And then we got... Like that? You know what I mean? Uh, hmm. No. These, these, these are steps. No? Oh, so, oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when you have the graduate of architect school <laughs> in your D&D party. Uh, <laughs> yes. Like that. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. So, so that, but from like, from like the side view they look like that. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yes. So it's okay. Like going, yes. So it's like you're going down a building. So yes. Is, so is it is it like you're going down a building like if you were in like like a like a like a like a 10 story building and you had to go down the steps. Yeah, Correct. The fire steps. Correct. Okay. If you had to go okay. down the fire steps. Yes. It's gotcha. sim similar okay. to that. Okay. okay. Right. That's what you're saying. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. So before everyone runs into my back and pushes me in this hole, I is like, oh, 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 hold on, guys. There's a, there's a break in the steps here. I think we're gonna have to jump it. So a five foot jump, straight wouldn't be so bad, but it, and but actually a five foot jump on an angle. If you're jumping we're out, gonna eat shit. You're, you're gonna land. You're not gonna land at the five at, at at the next step. You're gonna you're gonna jump out and land somewhere in the middle of the of the next run of stairs somewhere. So where is um where's the break in the steps? Like if we were looking at the side view, is it like near one of the the head backs, or is it like in the middle? In the middle, right there. Yep. No, 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 no. Uh, where the lot. Yep. Yeah, yeah. That one. Exactly. Okay. Right in the center. Uh, <laughs> wow. So there's so each each like length of steps is maybe about twenty five or thirty feet, right? And then so you've got about <laughs> you've got like ten feet of steps, and then this maybe five foot hole, and then another ten feet of steps. Okay, so my concern is we can easily make the jump to the next step, or but uh, the momentum of not <laughs> leaning down and off into the abyss afterwards is concerning. Um, but here's the thing: I mean, that Solus making that jump, or Ren making that jump, because of their acrobatic skill. Very easy. Yeah, there's a difference between uh, between skill Argyle levels here. making that jump in his armor. Yeah, and, or and Sid on his, making on his any face. kind of jump at all. <laughs> like, Sid would have to be thrown. Also, getting back up becomes... Becomes impossible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Unless we, Unless there's a way to tie the rope. Yeah, and we can tie a rope between the two steps, so that when we come back up, we have a, the the rope is tied, and we have a way to at least climb. So the problem with that is that there's no railing, there's no nothing. The steps are, ah. yeah. But but Ren sees bones, so. Can Ren tie the rope to the bones? Ren is muted. <laughs> Hopefully Hera didn't fall asleep again. Hera! 
Ren is still muted. Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I lost a lot of light on Ren. You did? It got dark. Um, how many ropes do we have? We can... We probably... Probably every single ev person has a rope. Has a well, yeah, what like, I'm saying is, have rope. If, if these, if these, if these steps have okay, so the steps have a, like a rise and and and, a, and like a landing. So the rise is actually has an opening, correct? So there's only like a landing. That's a good question. So if I if you look backwards, so my question is, can we can tie see through the around a, Can we tie something around a step? Or are the steps solid? Yeah, what's the thickness of the step? So the steps, if you if you look down, like if you crouch down and look to the side of the steps, what you will see is that the steps are like solid all the way down. And in fact... How is so, that possible? Yeah, that's not even possible. This is D&D. &D. If they loop possible. back on themselves, wouldn't that just interfere with the steps below them? Again, it would the architect. It would. I see. Well, all right. Well, if there's if there's solid stuff there, maybe we could put. Um, yeah, it seems solid, and it seems to go all the way down. So if you look back, the, between the rise and the between the rise and the landing, it's solid in between. So like, you know what I mean. Yeah, so so okay, are you looking back one. and kind of looking up? No, looking back and looking straight at the steps. Yeah, if you look back and look straight at the steps, the steps are solid. That's I, got an, I, I, I got an idea. So how about this? How much, rope, how, how much rope do we have? Everyone's got a rope, right? Uh, and, yeah. No, just tell them. So everyone's got a rope, and then how many, how many lengths of rope do we have? Like, like each person. Probably a fifty foot standard length. Yeah, I got okay. 50. So we got fifty, and we got yeah. multiple lengths. Why don't we just be smart? Um, tie it off on the boat up up at the top before we even walk down, because it flies and shit. And just tie these ropes together, and that way no one will fall down into the abyss. I think you're severely underestimating how deep this thing probably is. Well, we don't know how deep it is. That's the point. Plus, we got. We have, Here's we have, the thing: if we're if we're gone for more than twelve hours, that boat is going to fly off with our rope. But we can. That boat might have more rope on it. I don't know. We might be ill prepared. I'm saying that we could possibly like go up there and have like a lifeline going down to make sure we don't fall. Yes, but let's say we had 250 feet of rope. Do you think that's really only the depth of this place? We don't know how deep it is. That's the point. If how it's deep in, still, here's the, here's how the deep have we gone already? How deep have we gone already? Yeah. So you went down, turned, went down, turned. Now you're at a gap. So oh, we're not we're not far. It's like not super feet. far. Like not. It's like 15 feet. If we got like 250 feet of rope or something, I mean, you know. If that's what you want to do. Oh, it's not about what I want to do. It's just me throwing out an idea. If you got a better idea, then please. I'm just, that's something random that Rumby would do. So, Sure. You're not Rumby. I, I, so I am Rumby. You're Kegel. No, I'm not. Right? Yeah, you're, uh, you're definitely Kegel in this situation. Dude, for you're sure. Kegel in this one. Yeah, because Rumby's back on the ship. Kegel's the one that went down into Rumbi. the the uh, dungeon. Oh, I thought I was Rumby on this. Yeah, yeah no. Kegel. Remember, Ke <laughs> Kegel went down into the dungeon. Rumby, Rumby was back right, on the me, ship because Rumby was in the... sick bay when all the puke stuff happened. Okay, let me change out the old character sheet then. <laughs> change out awesome. the voice. All right, I think we need about a billion feet of rope. Yeah, yeah. 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 Kegel's probably going to do something really fucked up then. Um. Solus thinks that you should just put a spike in these steps and then do what the, the picture does. Who's got a spike? Uh, everybody. 
It's in uh, the default pack. It's in Mallet and Spikes. Everyone should have six. Oh, and actually, Argyle's got his own. Okay, so if Ar so can okay, so Argyle's going to take out a spike. Okay. And he's going to try to pound a spike into the step that's just like right behind him. Okay. So he recoils in anger. So who, who is who is right in front of me? Right in front of Argyle's Guthix. Hello. Argyle is going to hand Guthix the torch so Argyle can do this. Okay. okay. But Argyle's right, at the so back, right? Argyle's he's just trying back. to see if he can do it, right? This is he's like a test. He's putting his down. He's got his. He's got the mallet, and he's just going to start to. He's going to start to try to see if he can hammer the step. spike. So in... what? What the issue is like? Wait, time out. The issue here is we don't know if. Why can't we just jump? <laughs> uh... Because we can't get back. Do you think that anybody? Other than Ren and Solus will be able to jump that back? Well, I wouldn't even trust that. Jumping on an uneven okay. surface like these steps. It doesn't matter. Bring, Ar Argyle, like... Argyle has started to, to, to hammer the spike. Okay, okay. So Argyle, uh, Argyle hammers a spike into. Is he doing it like uh, like it is on the on the map there? Is no. He, is he he's he's not is he he hammering into the rise? He's he's not hammering it into the rise. He's, he's hammering, hammering it into, into the run. Into the run. Okay, so he's doing like right this down. right here. But yeah, yeah, probably okay. but probably like right there. Oh hold on. There. Probably like right there. Cause, Cause he's turned around, so he's like five steps up from people. So he's doing it like five. Yeah, five, yeah. Five. So he's hammering it. He's gonna do that. Okay. Do I need to make a check? Um. No, no. I I wouldn't say. I mean, he's just hammering it normally, right? Yeah. Yeah. I don't think you need to make a check. Yeah. He hammers it in. How's your hammering skills? It goes into the stone, but it doesn't. Argyle can pound. Like nobody's business. I bet. I mean, does he have the pounding proficiency? <laughs> I mean, that's what Elise was for, right? Yeah, that's exactly right. So, uh, so it, he's uh, he's pounded the spike in. Okay, so now after he's pounded the spike in, he's gonna grab the spike because he needs to know it can hold weight, and he's gonna try to pull. Okay, make a strength check. <laughs> Kegel is not concerned about getting back up. Kegel's ready to die down here. No, Kegel has. Oh my god! Let's... Not, not again. Be... Let's not do this again because God Almighty. Oh no! He pulls too hard and flings himself off the steps. So, so that, that that no that that means that he's just like. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So he like he pulls he just, on he it. Gave himself a hernia. And uh, <laughs> it actually seems really secure. Okay, so then Argyle is going to take whoever's rope, whoever wants to give up their rope, or do we have rope that came with the, the packs? Did rope come with the packs? Uh, let's see, it was the rope post, or the pack posted recently. In oh, yeah, we yeah, had it was. a strong corded hip yeah, rope, yep. yeah, and a grappling hook. So we actually have rope and a grappling hook, if we really need it. We have... So that comes in the pack. So he's going to take the rope. He's going to tie the rope. Okay. And and make sure it's cinched. So I don't know what kind of skill it is. I don't think he has to make a skill to make a to tie a rope, does he? Um well I mean he has uh, it's an important rope make an intelligence check here we go oh my god 
Oh, wait a minute. That's still pretty bad. Why did... Oh, never mind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's, that's terrible. Yeah. So he's, like, trying to tie the rope. He can't even get the rope to, like, stay on the thing, on the on the spike. It just keeps coming he, he just, off. He's like, he just turns around and is like, Gothers, just do this. Uh, okay. Gothics tries to tie the rope. Uh, intelligence. I'm not going to make uh, Gothics make an intelligence check. Well, okay. But, uh, but it's he a does. Good thing that he, yeah, yeah. We're chilling. All right. So you, you start to tie the rope to this spike, and as you're, like, tying it, you, like, pull the spike out. Huh? I thought you said this was good. I thought it was. Uh-huh. Uh, well, um... Here, maybe... Here, maybe you try it. And he hands you the, the hammer, and maybe you can try to do the spike. <laughs> yeah, it looks good to me. <laughs> Nice and okay. for you there. So since it's a different spike, Argyle's gonna give it a shot just to see if he if he needs it how it is. Does right. he pull it right yeah, out? Yeah, he pulls it right out. Uh I don't think this is gonna work. Wait, guys, let me give it a try. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Eagles wanna go for a try. I uh I really do think we lost Harrison, by the way. He spoke a little bit earlier. Yeah, he did. did he? I'm here. Oh, oh there he is. Here. Kegel, Kegel just gave it a try. Oh my god. That's uh, Kegel. a real try. So why did you why did you roll that? Why didn't you actually roll on your character sheet? Uh just cause. Because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I mean I don't I can take that roll back if you want me to. I mean, I'm personally a fan of that role. Yeah, so, I, I kind of uh, like that role myself. So yes. So, so the other thing about the um, the other thing about the uh, the um, the stairs that I had mentioned before is that you cannot easily get past each other. So it's like, well, we can you walk could up, maybe back just up, walk back. You have to walk back up the steps. Is what basically we do. Yeah, Instead yeah. Of going past each other, we just walk back up the steps. Essentially. Yeah. All right. So, what are you doing now? Um, is is it is it in there securely? Uh. No, no, no. It doesn't look like this uh, idea is going to work at all. I'm just going to cut to the chase and tell you that because I don't want you to uh, waste any more time on it. That, well, uh, that yeah, it doesn't seem like you're because you've gone through two and you're like it's it, they're not they're not grabbing enough. Let's just have someone everyone hold it up top and someone jump and then once we have more people on the bottom they hold it and then everyone else jumps well no this is to get back up somebody would have to stay behind and just continuously hold the rope if we got down there i could lift someone up how i could cast a spell oh yeah you have like floating disc or something i have yeah but i also have levitate okay yeah, I was that wondering if anybody was going to, you know, uh, well, actually right. figure out that they maybe somebody had some well, magic I, I that could that. possibly I work. I knew that, but everyone was kind of like, ooh. So, I mean, <laughs> I, have floating, I have floating disc. I have a lot of different shit, so. Oh. So, I'm just like, oh. literally, I can, I can, you know, with the levitate, I can literally levitate your body. So, so. But it's just, it's not, it's not the problem. It's like I only got it, like, so many of them, and I can only do it with one person at a time. I see. Floating disc is different, though. Um, but 
So is going to take his chance and jump. See, the thing is funny is I can't jump. Argyle, who who are like the two small ones on the Argyle will just throw them. No, Argyle won't. <laughs> Argyle will just pick them up, and throw them. Argyle tries to pick me up. I'm gonna stab Argyle. <laughs> so, oh God! Oh no! Solus oh, no. Solus leaps into the darkness, <laughs> and uh, oh hey, look, food. <laughs> Solus uh, leaps, um. Oh, into no. the darkness and you hear into the stairs five feet away right do, do we hear yeah. anything <laughs> besides oh. <laughs> all the way down you hear <laughs> a let's see we're gonna find out actually Okay. After a, a little while, you hear a splash. The soul is, the soul is alive. Okay. Argyle is actually going to yell. So. Solus. Go ahead. Oh, and uh you fell a decent way um go ahead and do another acrobatic is somebody trying to talk is somebody's oh i think it's jt uh, dude you're you're like super robotic you're sounding real fucked up right now i'm only talking oh oh it's coming through do you have like your microphone on somewhere because he was coming through your mic i think Oh, gotcha. He probably did. yeah. My phone, maybe. I oh. see. I see. Okay, so, uh, you fell. You were able to somewhat uh slow your fall, and but you still uh you were because it was dark and uh you you know as soon as you fell like. Holding on to that torch was like not even something that was gonna gonna be possible. Uh, oh so yeah, they should have they should have seen my descent on the way down. Yeah, yeah, you probably saw a little bit of him like falling, but then the lights go out and you hear a splash. Um, so you hit the water and uh, you are conscious. You take two damage, but uh, it's not that bad, um, and you're able to kind of recover. Uh, whatever you've fallen into is not caustic. It's not like dissolving your flesh or anything oh, like that. Good. I haven't fallen into a vat of acid. Uh, so y you think that it's water, but you can't see. So at the moment, you're just kind of trying to keep yourself from going under. Okay. So, this is half in jest, but actually half serious. Argyle is going to try to calculate, because he knows how about how big Solus is. He's going to try to calculate how far down that is. Argyle is, yeah, Argyle. I mean, he's <laughs> not trying to calculate, he's trying to guess. Yeah, he's trying to take a guess. I'm As gonna to say that I'm gonna let you make an intelligence check. Make a wisdom check. Ah. He's... He's... Ah. That that actually could have not could have been pretty good actually. Yeah, he man, died. it's just too hard to tell. Ah, oh. Solus, are you okay? <laughs> so you can hear him. He can hear me? Mm-hmm. I mean, you, you can hear him, because he's the one that uh, yelled. Uh, I'm all right. There's some uh, kind of water down here. Are you treading, or are you standing? I would, I would assume I'm treading. 
You're treading. You cannot feel the bottom. Treading. And That's you don't know where to good. head. <laughs> not for me. I'll sink. Uh. Oh. Uh. Mm, I feel up choking on some water. <laughs> Neat. <coughs> um, okay. So, can I... I guess the torch is gone. Um, the torch is gone. All my supplies are wet, so I can't <coughs> really light another. I'm going to tread around and see if I can find anything solid, like a platform or something. Anybody else going to try to make that jump? Uh, Cameron, roll a... Just give me a general 12, like a D12 roll. Not for anything specific, just D12. Six. Okay. So you're trying to uh you're you're basically trying to just stay above water and kind of go slowly in one direction. You're not do trying to full on swim, right? You're just kind of paddling and yeah, I'm just kind of like dog paddling. Yeah, okay. Cool. That's what I thought. All right. Uh so you're kind of trying to trying to feel around see if you can find anything what's everybody on the stairs doing uh well, guthix is looking down and concerned mostly but um he'd prefer not to make the jump into the water if possible i'm climbing down yeah argyle knows that he can't jump into the water directly because he'll sink because of his armor because that's happened before. He's trying to figure out whether or not he can make the jump to the steps. Eagle's trying to understand why someone would want to even jump down into the water. Hera, when you said you're climbing, are you climbing down or are you jumping down? I'm climbing down. How are you going to do that? Is it just like a flat wall? There's like not a wall. I see. Oh, not for him. There's not a wall for him. Hmm. Huh? Yeah. Remember the uh, the stairs are made of like people, and the walls are kind of the far stairs away. Are made of people. Soiling green. Yeah. The entire platform. Exactly. So. so, the only well, way to climb down would be if you tried to climb down the side of one of the stairs. But when you look down, you kind of see something different than everybody else sees. Who would that be? So, like, because you see the stairs as people, you kind of see them kind of hanging down. But you kind of see them hanging down into, like, this weird... Almost like they they become in... Uh, almost translucent. Like, they start to go down, and... So you see, like, the bodies, and then they're translucent. And then there's, it's just darkness below. Excuse me. They're, like, they're kind of see-through? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, they, they, at where you are, they're pretty solid. But as you look down, like, if you look down off, over the side, where you would be climbing to, it's like, it's almost like they kind of, disappear maybe gotcha yeah it's weird looking 
Um, whatever. I'll just hop down and try to land the best I can. So you're going to try and make the jump then? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and roll your acrobatics check. You, like, make the jump, and you're, like, teeter, like you're going to fall, but you catch yourself. Nice. Uh, so, Ren is uh, on the other side. Ren, do you think if I jump to you, you could... Uh help catch me so I don't tumble to my death. Who is this? And how heavy are you? <laughs> He's not very heavy. Um, I could try. Alright, so Solus is going to make the leap. <coughs> Let's go. Okay. So... Solus just barely makes it and is just barely able to, like, hang on. I mean, right. just barely. So, not recommended course of action for everyone else, it seems. Uh, so he's so Argyle is going to look at Sid and Kegel and be like, you guys are going to go? Do you need help? Do you need me to throw you over? A nice <laughs> loving push. I don't think I can make it. Uh, I can throw you. I can't make it and you're not throwing me. Uh, how much do I weigh? Yeah, sure. I, I weigh ooh, 90 pounds. Sid, can't you just bend the steps to your will and make it form back together again? Uh, I don't have that spell yet, unfortunately. He's not Doctor Strange yet. Mm. Okay. Uh, so, give, if, yeah. Sid, if Sid trusts Argyle, Argyle's going to pick him up and toss him to Guthix. Me. To me. <laughs> or just toss him to like the two that are on the other side. Mm. Okay. Uh hmm. how how is this gonna work? How are you going okay. to throw So him? so what he's gonna do is he's gonna Head take first. him he's gonna take him by his collar. And his trousers, and pick him up. So he's picked up by the cop, and and two, three. That's Does really that make sense? okay. Oh my gosh! I how mean, that's how is he supposed to land? He's throwing him to the other two people that are on the other side. Okay, so have they agreed, or is he just gonna do it? <laughs> Gothic certainly does not agree, but get ready to catch him. One, two, three. So I don't know what roll you want me to make as a throw. Uh, I flail my arms as I fly. Uh, I guess go ahead and roll a roll? strength check. Oh God. Yeah, actually, then maybe that is better. Maybe, maybe, maybe make an attack roll. Just, just, just roll a d roll twenty. A 20. Okay. What's your dexterity? Uh, My dexterity. Yeah, do you have a plus? Dexterity? Yours. My dexterity is twelve. Okay, so no plus. It's like I'm going high to um, gotcha. brace for impact and fail. Oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, 
A strength check would have been great on that. But, so, yeah. Argyle is like, he's like, one, two, two, three, and he just like tosses Sid out into the darkness. Oh, God. I mean, like, Guthix is like getting ready, and then like <laughs> Sid just disappears. He's fucking gone. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. <laughs> Alright. At this point, he turns to Teagle and is like, Are you ready? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, there is a splash, and, uh, Sid. <laughs> uh,. Roll a constitution check. Jeez. Oh, I'm really good at these. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Okay. I'm trying to. So. Sid. Hits the water. And. Falls unconscious. Immediately. And... Fortunately only takes three damage. Uh, but is unconscious immediately. Solus, while all this is... He doesn't really kind of know what's going on up ahead. He's just trying to, like, feel around. He feels a platform. He, he finally gets to, like, a platform. But as soon as he touches the platform... He hears kind of this, and then splash behind him. And oh my uh, let's see. Roll Can I even a, see? Cameron, roll a d6. You're pretty sure it's like he's like almost directly behind you. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to turn around. You know, glance around, take a dive, and try to bring him up to the surface. Well, you don't know that he's under. You just heard, like, it, it's literally like you heard this splash behind you. Well, I mean, I would assume anything that splashed behind me is under the surface of the water. Yeah, but, like, not directly behind you. Like, somewhat behind you. Oh, okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to... Uh, Get on the platform then. Try to shake off as much water as I can and light a torch so I can see what's happening. Okay. All right. So you're trying to do That's that. Oh, good lord. Ah. Okay. Meanwhile, back up on the stairs. Is Ren just making his way downstairs? Like, is he just. Or is he waiting? And what is Gothic doing? He's going to wait. Okay. And. What is Gothics Argyle? Is making his way down. Okay, so Guthix has kind of started down. What are Argyle and Kegel doing? Argyle literally just looked at Kegel and said, Are you ready? Jay, you're muted. <laughs> Uh oh. If Jay doesn't unmute, are you? Eagle says you're not throwing me. Are you sure? You go first. Okay. I'll give it a shot. So, Argyle is going to try to leap across the five foot chasm. Okay. Dude, I'm building my constitution tech in real life. I'm dying here. <laughs> so what do you want me to uh, do? Uh, Go ahead and just roll a dexterity check, but there's going to be a penalty to it. Oh, God. All right. <laughs> so... Argyle steps off the last step and just drops 
is uh he literally made doesn't even it almost doesn't even look like he jumps it looks like he just kind of steps down and just like drops into the darkness um and uh yeah you uh let's see you hit the water and uh make a constitution check Meanwhile, Solus is like, you know, getting his torch lit. Oh my god. Eagle. This is horrible. Oh, jeez. Horrible. It's terrible. Okay. So, Ar so Argyle falls unconscious and he's like sinking like a rock to the bottom of this like impossibly oh dark Eagle is preparing chasm. to do something. Okay. I guess well, I can so I'm going... It's completely dark because he had the other yeah. torch. Yeah, I'm... yeah. I'm oh, gonna say at actually, I'm gonna say at this point we're at a place where I think it really things really kind of matter. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pull up the turn tracker and then just just chuck your characters on the map and uh, so that we can have initiative. Why did Anya just show up on the fucking turn tracker? That's Argyle. No, Anya just why. Anya just showed up on the turn tracker. What the hell? She she's not on mine. Oh, for some reason she showed up on mine. I don't know. Why. And I don't see her on the. Um... Yeah, she's not on the player one either. I don't. Yeah, that's weird. No. I don't know. Maybe she was on there the last time for some reason. What the hell? I thought I clicked my thing. Hello. Argyle. <laughs> oh, that's how, why. How many of my characters do I get to lose in the next couple of sessions? So I have to start off with brand new characters. Uh, that teaches All you not to do dumbass things in uh, Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> is uh, what, uh, what that does. But that's does. the best part. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Well, all right. So, okay. Beginning of the turn. All right. So, Solus is on the uh is on this little kind of uh platform uh he has just gotten his torch lit and uh i don't know out in the water there's stuff and then uh kegel i guess ren and guthix are up above. Guthix is kind of on the move down. So Solus is up. So he just heard. He basically like as he's lighting his torch, getting his torch oh, lit. He, yeah. In the water. Another another splash. Hmm. Well, he uh, probably could see it as yeah. I was going down with the torch. Oh, probably true. Yeah, yeah. So that one you you could you could probably uh, see. Just for a split second, Argyle hit the water with his torch before the torch extinguishes and uh, Argyle disappears. I see. Well, I'm going to leave the torch on the platform while it's still lit and dive back in the water trying to get these guys to safety. Okay. Who are you going for first? Um... <clears throat> There was a first splash. You actually don't even know who that first splash was. Yeah. You just kind of know the general direction that it was in. Uh, well, since I know where Argyle is, I guess I'll go for him first. Okay. What you need from me? All right. So... Go ahead and, uh, so as far as swimming in the water, 
and you don't you're not like an armor wearer so you don't really have to worry about any of that shit um i'm gonna say that you could make it to argyle pretty easily but it's probably gonna just take your whole turn to make it to him okay yeah um and then gothics gothics is going to continue down the steps Okay, so right. Gu Guthix eventually leaves the, uh, he leaves the torchlight, and uh, his eyes have had to, like, adjust a little bit, um, and he just continues down the stairs, and uh, they just look the same as they have, but now he's under his infravision at the moment. Sounds good to me. Uh, and then, uh, what is Kegel doing? Uh, Kegel, all right, so let's see if this will work. Kegel, so how far is it between the step I'm at now and the one that is away from me that I have to, that everyone's been jumping to? It's about five feet. So not that far, but... Not that far, far, but you're, you're little. Your legs are like yeah. a, a foot, so if here's, that. Here's, so here's my plan, but it, but it is downhill, correct? Correct. Okay, so what I shall do is cast um levitate on a rope right, right? and i want to i guess i can i can levitate this rope at an angle like like at a straight line correct like i can have it can i can i do that levitate only works vertically So like you can't levitate like okay. across. So can I, I can vertically levitate the rope and use it as a swing. Correct. Like I can in Indiana Jones this motherfucker. Uh, at that point, you might as well have just jumped. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. I feel like at that point, it it that might actually be worse than jumping. Really? Even if it's Maybe. like, well, I'm just trying to think, like, if it's like literally, if I can get it to swing over the step and I can kind of just slide down the rope, it would land on the step rather than just kind of like jumping on the step. Uh, let me let me look at this spell description real quick. Yeah, because I was trying to, to look see it up something and, like, because it's like. I remember that's a lot of physics, man. That yeah, is a lot of physics. levitate's a pretty simple spell. And... It says vertically up to twenty feet and remain suspended there for the duration. Yeah, see this it works on on uh on oh, it's the spellcaster only so it's you and you can only move up and down. So you can't actually levitate a rope. You can piss yeah, up a rope, but you can't levitate oh, I, one. I it was like, yeah, but I can you can see within 20 as is vertically. Yeah, yeah. So it would if Kegel wanted to just like step off of the steps and levitate down she could but she she might still end up in water but like she'd be able to control well, that's completely fine i just didn't know if i but could but like, actually getting across the steps because it like you have you don't have any like lateral movement at all in that in that spell it's literally well, only up and down um uh, i can still step off and go straight down but you could step off and you could go straight down for sure yeah you could definitely do oh, that. Go more than 20 feet hmm? i think it's it's within a range of 20 feet that what's the what's the range that you can go up what's the range uh oh geez i probably should have looked at that um it's like 20 feet Anybody has a, the idea of how far I drop? No, no. It would be Kegel. He, movement rate is up or down is at a rate of twenty feet 
per round, which is actually pretty quick, technically, because a round is only like is the rounds in seconds. A round is like a combat. That's what we're in right now. But yeah. you, the duration of the spell is six turns plus one Dude. turn per level. So it's like yeah. it lasts an hour. So it's like as basically right. like right. Yeah, the range area is like sixty feet. Is is what I'm looking at. So, what are you what are you talking about? There's this no. Thing's like, maybe this is a weird thing that I'm looking at. Uh, I'm looking it, on the internet, dude. You're looking at what? Called D and D Beyond. Oh, Probably you're looking some... at some dumb shit like Fifth Edition rule. No, I'm looking at the book uh, right now. <laughs> well, I don't have the book right now, so all right. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm I'm telling you, I don't know, they changed the spell or whatever, but uh yeah, there's no like ra- the range is based on uh the duration of the spell essentially. Like technically, uh a wizard could like levitate for an hour like straight up. I'll be right back. <laughs> Presuming well, gonna, that he he was able to or I'm gonna, whatever. I'm, so. I'm going to step off and levitate down. Okay. You step off and you uh you cast levitate and you levitate down until you hit the next set of stairs and they're like right below you and you're gonna hit the stairs okay then... wait a minute stop if i step straight off i would have hit those stairs not the water would if you he's doing the same thing yep that's exactly what you said you said that I basically didn't even look like I jumped. Mm-hmm. That I yeah, you just fell. Off. You just stepped off and you fell and you hit the water. I know. I know exactly what I said. But she floats down and is headed towards the steps. Well, how the fuck did I miss the steps? I don't know, but how? however you missed the steps, because you... Uh, you're currently, uh, you know, drowning in the water. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> okay, yeah. Kegel, we're going to start walking down the steps then. Okay, so she hits the steps and, yeah. And she is, uh, she hits the steps and her infravision adjusts a little bit. And, uh, she sees, uh, gothics right in front of her. Okay, she's going to walk up and starts following gothics. Oh, gothics. And like kind of wave and then just follow. All right, and then it is Ren's turn. So I guess Ren's like the only one, right? Ren's the only one left up here. Is that accurate? Because everybody else either is like headed down or has fallen or right. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wait for the rest to get out of the water before I proceed. Get out. Well, you don't even, you have no idea what's going on below. You actually, actually, you are in darkness. I just realized that. Yeah, like, with Argyle falling, and... I thought that Guthics left a torch. Guthics was not holding a torch. Guthics was wasn't holding a... a torch. The two people that fell into the... Early. Yeah, two of the people that fell into the water held torches... Uh, Solus relit a torch down at the bottom, but that's like down at the bottom. You don't see that. You're in the, you're in darkness now, actually. I thought I had already jumped. You did, but you're on the other side of the steps in darkness. Yeah, because everybody else is gone. What I'm saying is, you are by yourself in darkness on the stairs. They're gone. Where? Did... I thought the water was right behind me. No. No. How did they fall into it? it? I thought they fell into it from failing the jump. They did. But they fell okay. a long way. You could hear the splash, but you can't see the bottom. And now that the torches are on, you are, are gone, you can't see anything. So wait, if you missed the jump, you fell way further down? Yes. I see. But you you actually don't even know that. You just know that like people fell and hit water. Like you, I I I don't want to like say that Ren has more information than he has because literally all he saw was like Ren basically watched 
uh, he watched Argyle like fall, and then he heard a splash, and then he watched Kegel. And actually, he wouldn't have watched Kegel because once Argyle fell, he was in darkness. Okay, so like... Ren will just uh, sit here and wait. Okay, just on the steps. Yep. Okay. <laughs> So, let's see, Sid and Argyle, yeah, all right. So I guess, oh boy, I guess it's initiative again. Do I do anything on my turn being unconscious? Do I have to roll for damage or something? Uh, no, unfortunately, okay. uh, there's not really much for you to do. So, die. <laughs> all right okay so obviously ren has the best initiative but is he still just chilling yeah his mo has not changed in the last five seconds okay all right then uh so uh, gothics all right, Gothics continues his way down. All right. Uh, is is he going at a pretty normal pace, or is he trying to go at a quicker pace? Uh, You know, a quick pace, as long as he feels safe to do so. I mean, obviously there's water. It might be a little bit So damp. he's he's still trying to take some caution. He's not just, like, rushing yeah, down he's, with it's no... It's not like I'm running okay. down the stairs. Especially right. these stairs. These stairs are fucking whack. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So you're continuing downstairs. Solus. Uh, you have, have reached, Argyle. reached Argyle. I'm diving away, trying to get him. Okay. Uh, he has the same initiative, by the way. So glug, 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 glug. glug. Blood, yeah, blood. yeah. Uh, Following the sound of bubbles appearing to the surface. Uh, yeah, so uh, you made it to him, but he is uh, he is at the bottom. You realize that it, the that it's actually not super deep now that you've dived in here. It's maybe only about ten feet. Oh, ten feet. But he's at For the sure. bottom. And he is weighed down by all of his armor and equipment. Hmm. I wonder if it would be better to try to take it off of him or just try to get him to the surface. Um, let's try to let's try to get him out of it. I feel like um, me trying to lift a, a heavy body is not going to work out. Okay, so, so you're, you're however, gonna... however, I intuitively try to think of how to do that. So you're gonna try and pull Argyle's armor off. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and make a dexterity check. Ah, uh, shit. All right, that's proving to be difficult. And uh, Kegel. So uh, you're still kind of behind Guthix, making your way down the stairs as well? Yes, just walking. Okay. Uh, anything else special? Doing anything else? Um, not really. I'm yeah, walking. I mean, just walking. Just walking down steps. Makes sense. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, glug, glug. Uh, glug, glug. Hopefully Sid is not dying. Real dying. All right, so... Let's see where we are. All right, uh, looks like it's initiative again.
All right. Psh, Sid. Wah wah. And Ren. Ren's I MO. Sneezing. The same thing. Still still chilling. Just to make it simple, Ren is going to sit here until someone shows up or for 30 minutes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Jeez. Yeah, fuck my party. I mean, I don't know what's happening. I'm in complete darkness. That's true. Everyone's gone. <laughs> That's true. I'm going to wait till someone shows up. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so Kegel still heading down the stairs behind Solus, I'm assuming. I mean, behind uh, Gothics, probably. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Cool. Uh, Solus. Yeah. Uh, Walking. Having a difficult time with the armor. Um, gonna keep uh keep messing with the armor or change tactics. I'll give it another shot. Okay. Dex. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and make another dexterity check. So, f this armor is way crazier, and it's dark down here, and you're trying to pull it off. You think you got it, like, kind of pulled off. Um, make a constitution check oh yeah okay so you're you you don't have to go come up for air just yet you're you're hanging you're hanging on but all this activity is making it hard and you're still gonna have to fucking pull this guy up um gothics still walking down the stairs i assume okay yep. Argyle glug glug, Sid glug glug. It's initiative again. All right, Kegel. Walking down the stairs. A Kegel and uh, Guthix, actually, are uh, here within the next round, going to be at the end of the stairs. But oh, we don't know. Can we see that? Can I see that yet? You can kind of see the end coming up. What do I see? You think you see water and it looks like the stairs just go into the water mm -hmm. like continue on down okay i'll stop at the water when i get there okay you're not there I, quite yet you'll I, be I, you'll be there next round and i may have just remembered something that might have been important um i've got my ring on water walking You want a retcon? I just swapped it out, or ah, <laughs> uh... uh... um, I would have brought. I would have did. No, I could do damage. Yeah, before. yeah. I mean, it, it it would be impossible for us to go back now because, like, you would have actually fallen and hit the water, and the water would have been like ground. And... Oh, and Guth or Solus would probably be dead at the moment, so we're gonna say that you uh, maybe left it off. I, I see. This is actually all just a fever dream, as I am bleeding to death, um, somehow lying on the surface of the wall. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. But it is uh, Solus's turn, and uh, now he... at it with the decks. Now he needs to, uh, yeah, one more dex check to see if he can finish pulling off the bulk of the armor. And you're able to get it off. And uh, that took you the remainder of this round. And uh, so next round, you'll be able to attempt to pull him to the surface. Cool. 
and uh, Ren sitting on the thing. Sid glug glug, or glug glug yeah. glug. Uh, Guthix, uh, still heading down again. You're uh, getting close to the uh, to the surface of the water. You won't be do there until um, next round, though. Do I see where Solus had originally put in his torch on some kind of platform down here? Can I see that? Is that near? Yes. Yeah, yeah, you can see the torch, kind of. The, the light from the torch, yeah. Okay. Oh, well then... Uh, it's actually... Initiative. The light seems like it's maybe behind you, though. Okay. So like I behind guess the stairs from your perspective at, at the moment. I guess I'll tread around the stairs next turn. And it is initiative. That is three twos in a row for Argyle. Not the right initiative for Kegel, is it? No, you got a four, motherfucker. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. Glug glug. Ren. Okay. Kegel. Okay, so Kegel. Uh, you and Guthix are getting down to the water at this point. The stairs look like they continue down into the water. Okay. Um, uh, Kegel's not a hell of a swimmer. Mm. Stop the water. I'm thinking. Give me a second. Um... Uh, yeah, I can't do too much right this second. Uh, uh, other than I could do something, but I'm not going to do it. All right then, Solus. Wait. Make a strength check to see if you can pull Argyle back up with you. Ugh. Oh no. People be dying. Dang, he is heavy. Yes, he is. And... Jeez, guys. Glug, glug. Guthix, at the water. All right. Um, I'm looking around. I'm not seeing anyone. Do I see any bubbles uh, accumulating up from the, up from the depths? You, uh, you take a good look around go ahead and roll go ahead and roll a uh an intelligence check to see if you can see oh let's go wait that's for the did you just roll solace that was a roll for solace oh no I'll take it. I'll take it as a roll for Gothics because I obviously I'm not. I'll, I won't make you roll again. But no, 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 no. It's so we'll do it fair, Fairzies. See, I got it anyway. All right, all right, all right, all right. So yes, you uh, you see, you see two things in the water. You see, there's definitely there's like there's a in in one section you see a lot of bubbles coming up and some kind of movement under that water. And then, like, in another section, you just see, like, a couple little bubbles coming up every now and again. <laughs> I'm going for the little bubbles. <laughs> okay, so... Tiny bubbles. Are you going to dive into the water uh, 
Don't, do you have are you, what armor are you wearing? I wear leather armor. Okay, are you gonna keep your leather armor on, or are you gonna you gonna doff it before you jump in? Uh, I feel like it wouldn't encumber me that that much really. it's not it's not as bad as as uh is as, as like any kind of metal armor which obviously like totally fucks you but it, it's not great leather and water can get uh, I'll, I'll stiff and, and hard okay all right I think so we need the best we can do here all right all right so you uh you you make the the identification and then you take your armor off and then uh and then it's initiative Did Ke did you even roll? Hmm? I thought it Kegel, but did 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 you even roll for Kegel? An initiative for Kegel. I think that's her old initiative. Yeah, there you go. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Of course, we know what Ren's doing. So, uh, Solus, back to you, sir. And I'm heaving and I'm huffing. Heaving and huffing. Uh, before you do that, make another Constitution check. Oh, I thought I was about to hit that twenty. Oh, that, that was, was that was that was not good. Okay, you're gonna have to like abandon him for a round so that you can go up and get a breath. Gotcha. I'll kick my way up. All right. So you jump, go up to the top, and you get a breath, and. Glug glug. Gothics. Uh, Gothics is diving after those tiny bubbles. All right. So Gothics dives in, uh, realizes, uh, like Solus, that the, uh, the water is actually not that super deep and uh, is... Um, is Guthix willing to open his eyes underneath the water? Yeah, why wouldn't he? Because if he's willing to open his eyes underneath the water, his infravision will kick, kick in. Because yeah, because it's it's fucking dark down here, and uh, he will see the outline of a uh, of a sl of a uh, quickly growing colder uh, body at the bottom of the. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> at the bottom of this water and uh you make it to him and uh that's about all the time that you have and it's uh kegel so kegel you just saw guthix uh dive into the water and he's he uh yeah yeah he's he's in the water now there's a bunch of stuff going on in the water you 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 believe he was going to like I guess cast like floating disc in the middle of the water. Oh, okay. Like floating disc is a uh as a floating disc so people can grab onto it. Yeah, yeah. I was I'm trying to think. Uh I think it has to be a certain distance away from the caster. Let me just check. I don't know how big this place is. So this... Yeah, yeah. Uh I just wanna I mean, it's right behind or right in front of, or is it right behind? Yeah, usually it's behind you, but because generally people use it for carrying. But I just want to take a, take a look. Uh, within okay, within six feet, so it's got to okay. be within six feet of you. Mm -hmm. So it's created the, at the height of your waist, which is actually kind of good because your waist is Sorry. much lower. <laughs> so it's, yeah. it should be what? floating right above I, the water. <laughs> if these step, if there's steps which go down into the water, I can technically even just like step down one more step. Uh, true, true. That's true. Yeah. Do you do that? Um, I can test. I'm going to test and see like if there's another step. Okay, like, before you cast the spell, 
Yes. Okay. You stepped down into the water, and you were surprised that your leg doesn't get wet, and you just step onto the next dry step. Okay, then I'll cast a uh, spell for them. Okay, so and you step down, go, huh, that's fucking weird, and uh, cast the uh, floating disc, and you kind of project it six feet back behind you so that it's kind of out in the water a little bit closer to where they are. Glug, glug, and it is initiative. I gotta keep jumping. I'm using one screen. It's a pain in the ass. <laughs> what did you say? I'm, I'm using one, like, my laptop. So, like, I'm not, like, I don't have multiple screens. I have to jump between, like... Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That like, sucks. Yeah. I see what pain. you're saying. You don't have a second screen set up. Yeah, so I gotta keep going down to, like, into the window and be like, okay, go on Discord. And I'm jumping over to, like, oh, over here. As bang. Glug, glug. Hanging out. Glug. Gothics, all right. Gothics is at a uh, the small body there. Oh wait, did you not roll before? I thought you rolled before. Oh, okay, that's because why you were fucking talking about. No, 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 no. Jay, because wait, where's yeah, glug. Yeah, because actually, it's then it's Kegel's turn because he didn't roll. So, Kegel, what are you doing? You're just kind of hanging uh, out? Hanging out, waiting for them. That's what I thought. Okay, glug, glug. Now, Gothics. All right, so you've gotten to the body. Uh, now that you have seen and felt the body, you're pretty sure that it's Sid. Uh, that makes you happy because you feel like, hey, this is somebody I can maybe manage. I'm grabbing hold and I'm kicking as hard as I can. All right, make a strength check to kind of oh, pain. You're like, ah, oh, this this is this is rougher than you thought. You're gonna have to. Uh, uh, so am I? Uh, damn it, Jay! Mute your mic. Was it doing it again? Yeah, yeah, it's hearing me. Is that doing it? I don't know. Okay, maybe not now. Now you're weird. Good. That was fucking strange. Anyway. No yeah, yeah. So uh Guthics uh trying oh this is tough. But what about Solus? Plunges back down into the water, I'm assuming, to try for another chance. Yeah, of course. Alright, well make another strength check. Come on, so God damn. It. Ah, These so are dying. difficult. Oh my goodness. Very, very difficult. Uh, and let's see. Glug, glug. Was that everybody? What the hell is going on with this turn order? Did everybody go that could go? Um, I think so. Okay. Most people are unconscious. Yeah, already. that's probably just that. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh boy, guys. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Um, tense one. Yeah, it's it's starting to get real tense, uh, actually. Yeah. So. All right. Well, you, oh, well so well, that this so this it's initiative call, then, I guess. Yeah. All right, so I got an idea. This is annoying. Uh, shit. What happens if I put the ring on while I'm underwater? There we go. Hmm. Sure. If yeah. I were to, like, jump, would it just, like, be like I'm jumping and the... You, you kind of get what I'm saying? I'm like jumping up, up, up. Up, up, up. 
Yeah, I I see. Like if you put the ring on while you're in the water. Ah, oh, jeez. Hmm. Let me. Fuck. I feel like I know how that probably would turn out. <laughs> Um, Unless that's a, an, a a disaster that I'm not foreseeing. Yeah, you know what? Uh, is that what you're? Is that what? Uh, uh well, yeah. I actually, before uh, before we uh, let's see, did, did everybody roll initiative? Yeah. Everybody needs to roll initiative. Uh, I did not. Yeah, yeah. Roll roll initiative for your characters, and then we'll here. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay. So. All right, so Kegel is up first. So before okay. hold, hold your thought, uh, Kegel, you had an idea. What what was she gonna do? Uh, can you hear me right now? Yeah. Okay. Anyone's heard from Michael or not? Um, basically, if I was able to st- like the walk down and not get wet, I want to see if I can walk down further. And if I'm still not getting wet, I shall see if I can proceed to walk down some more. And therefore, lowering the disc below the water. And oh, interesting. So basically, I want to see if this is like an illusion. So I can just basically keep going down. Mm-hmm. And they can. The water just, is an illusion. Oh my God. It, it, it is, and then I can keep going down, and they can get on the disc, and then I can fucking just walk back up the steps, and they can just go up. Okay, so you uh you walk down into uh you walk down the the final space into the water where or where the water would be and you finally get down to the bottom and you look around and you look over and you see the craziest thing. You see Argyle laying on the floor and you see Solus in the air going like this crazily in the air just like floating and then you see over kind of in the other corner bless you you see kind of in the other corner uh sid laying on the ground and guthix kind of floating above him like just in the air like waving his arms around almost like in slow motion it's the craziest thing you've ever seen or but maybe not. How does it work? Do, does my disc actually touch them or push them down or like? Well, no, your it... your disc followed six feet behind you, so now you're at their level. So basically, you've you've walked down here. You could walk over to them. Can I? Though? Can you... I walk over? Are, are yeah? Do you want to try? Oh, I'll tr- I'll attempt to. Who are you uh, going to walk I... towards? Are you going to walk towards uh, Argyle and Solus, or are you going to walk towards Guthix and uh, the closest Sid? Person to me. As long as I'm breathing, the, the closest person to me. Uh, the closest to you is uh, is Argyle and and uh, and Solus. Yeah, you're like totally breathing. I'm just going to go ahead and go over to them and just like <laughs> yank on their leg or something. Okay, so you yeah. walk over to where they are and you can see them and argyle is like just laying there like half undressed and solace is like pulling at him and solace is kind of floating yeah it's like do they even see me yeah do i see them uh you're busy So you you probably have just enough time within the round to like get down and get over by them. Yeah. So, so that's okay. basically where you are. Uh, Ren still chilling. Uh, Guthix. Uh, so Guthix, you are again uh, with Sid, and uh, it's Come rough. Come on, damn it! Come on. Oh my god! Oh my, oh my god. god! You are having a, a rough time. Uh, make a Constitution check. Oh my god! Uh, you're like you need to get back up to the surface real quick to. I'm so uh, sorry, Sid. To try the and. Are, uh, the rolls are not good. <laughs> the rolls are atrocious. Atrocious. The, roll, the rolls glug, glug. are over. The rolls are overbaked. 
Yeah. They're just they're... successful rolls. They are yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. They're getting burned, so they are overbaked. These rolls are karma for you, though, for sure. Uh, let's see. Solus is... Sol Solus gets the flash idea that maybe if he puts his ring on Argyle, it would make him easier to try to lift to the surface. Okay. Are so... We... So does he put the ring oh, on Argyle? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, oh God, here we go. You're like, you're like, struggle for a second. You shove the ring on his hand, and Argyle just shoots to the surface, <laughs> just fucking launches, and like shoots above the water, like flies Ooh. up above the water, and then smacks down back <laughs> on the water. <laughs> So that actually might wake me up. It's possible. Make a constitution check. That actually might wake me up. Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say that that woke you up. And uh, let's see. Hang on. You got a little bit extra here. So that's uh, uh, Argyle has 14 damage. Ooh. From that debacle. Oh my. oh my god. I need a calculator. He still has 18 hit points. What? <laughs> I mean... Yeah. yeah. If Sid isn't already dead, he's very, very close. Okay. So, obviously it's Argyle's <laughs> turn, but Argyle doesn't really yeah. have the wherewithal to really do no, anything. Just, that just happened. Yeah. But kind of... He's become conscious and go. Yeah. <gasps> am, which way am I pointed? Am I, I facing probably facing, facing up. up? Yeah, you're probably okay. just facing up, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. And uh, that would look like it would be initiative again. Did you roll for Argo? Yeah, I did. I got okay. a five. All right. Glug, glug. Solus. <laughs> uh, obviously, Argyle shot up out of the water. Yeah. And um, landed. So you, you see that happen, and then you realize that Kegel is standing... <laughs> In the water, behind you, like, just standing there. Uh -huh. Like it's nothing on the bottom of the thing. <laughs> I must be hallucinating. I need, I need to get air. <laughs> so you just swim back up to the surface? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you swim back up to the surface. Argyle is kind of choking and coughing on the surface, but <laughs> alive. Um... Ren just chilling because all this is happening pretty far below. Uh, Kegel. So you just witnessed that. You witnessed Argyle just shoot out of the fucking water. And then Solas like went after him. And uh, so, but it looks like, um, it looks like the other two were still struggling at the bottom. Are you going to head over towards Guthix and Sid? You're muted, by the way, if you're trying to talk. Not you, Dan. I mean, you were muted. No, I know. On I know I was muted. I keep <laughs> sneezing for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, you know, because it's fucking allergy season. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they're called. Dude, I spent... I spent all fucking Saturday, I think, in bed with, like, this eye, like, totally, like, swollen up because of fucking, like, the pollen. Uh, Ooh. Like, but, I wake up every day and, like, my nose is just, like, full of snot. And then in the evening it's not. And then I wake up in the morning and it's full of snot. And I wake up. Oh, 
Oh yes, and talk it, about it. Oh, it's not. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah. Beating on those people underwater. Okay, so you're gonna head over to the other two. Mm hmm. Okay, so you make your way over, uh, over to them, and uh, you see uh, that Guthix is still uh, struggling uh, with Sid. Argyle up on top of the water. Yeah. You realize that you're now somehow floating on top of the water. Uh, what? The only problem is that some of your stuff is gone. Uh, Actually, a bunch of your stuff is gone. You're like shirtless. <laughs> you're like pants are half ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, <laughs> he's gonna really look around to see. If he, he okay. There is a little bit of light from the platform, so he's gonna look around to see if he can see anybody. Uh, yeah, he can see. He uh, uh, Solus is 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 up at the top now. I assume is Solus. Uh, well, Solus we don't. Is, Solus is um. Like, did Solus start coming up back to the top of the wall? Yeah, yeah, I remember he... Yeah, he right. uh, so, so both Solus and Gothics have uh, re-emerged from the water. Yeah, yeah, so um, you probably see both of them coming up for air at the moment. Oh, uh, what the hell happened? So that's uh, your turn. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Gothics comes up for air. I I'm assuming he immediately goes back down, right? Does he see people? Uh, he does. Does he see Solus? Yes, he sees Solus, and he sees uh, he sees Solus just emerged from the water. He sees uh, Argyle, of course, floating on top of the water in a somewhat disheveled state. Okay, so so Guthix comes up out of the water. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> and he dives back down, okay. and uh, he's gonna. <laughs> Give it his best. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh <my laughs> Fucking God. shit, dude. All right. Well, at least he's alerted people that uh, that there needs to be some assistance. And I think that it is initiative again. Argyle, keep getting the two initiatives. Argyle's initiative sucks. All the time. And Solus is up. So Solus obviously sees Guthix come up and clamor for help. It looks like Argyle is going to continue to float on top of the water, so he's safe for the moment. Okay, Guthix is like looking around for a second. You mean Solus? Or Solus. <laughs> and he grabs Argyle's hand and rips the ring from it and follows Guthix down into the depths. You can't do that. Oh, 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 you can't you didn't put it on, I was gonna say. I can't Yeah, do that. no, he, he he didn't put it on himself. He's taking it to use the same tactic, I think. He's like, it's a surefire it's a surefire tactic. It works. But it means... <laughs> no, no, no. It's... no, here's the thing. It means you if collapse down no. back into the water. If Argyle is perfectly relaxed, he won't. If It'll, Argyle is like just... Lay... If he was float. just laying there just going... <sighs> oh, yeah, he'll just like kind of float. Yeah, yeah. He, um, might, he might. He you might don't get, get that feeling like when you wake up from like he you know you wake up you feel like a you're little falling. Bit, but he won't um, sink. He'll just kind of float there. Yeah, I mean he might kind of start to sink a little, and it might make him go, "Oh shit!" <laughs> but he's not gonna drop like a rock this time. Yeah, yeah, he won't drop like a yeah, rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. All right. So Solus uh, grabs the ring and dives back down. And Ren just chilling. 
Kegel. Okay, so Kegel is over, and she's standing there. She sees Sid lying on the ground under the water, but she doesn't see any water, even though everybody else does. And she sees Guthix kind of come back down, and then she also sees Solus. So she sees both Guthix and Solus, and they're kind of like floating down towards uh, towards Sid, who's just kind of like laying there. And she's like right over there, and then the floating disc is there too. Jay, won't you do me a favor? Make an intelligence uh, make a, an intelligence check for Kegel. Okay. I'm like, fuck, this thing's like fuck 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 fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> what is Un with these rolls? Unbelievable. What is with these goddamn rolls? <laughs> Okay, I, the reason I made the uh, I I had you make the intelligence check was to see if she would remember something. But now I'm just gonna feel bad for you, and I'm gonna see if you can remember something. So you've got floating disc cast, right? But right. also, I got oh, I can also like. Uh, I, I can also, like, I guess, raise it vertically. Because you still have a levitation cast on yourself because it lasts like an hour. Oh, so I can levitate. So okay, you are so... currently a levitatable with a floating disc, and the floating disc will always stay within six feet of you. Right. At your well, waist. I just, I can You're take... like no clipping right now. Oh. Okay, so then I'll just go, on, go and, like, basically, like, pick these people up. And, like, levitate myself. So, picking people up is... With the disc. Yeah, yeah, but you can't actually pick them up with the disc. You'd, act, you'd have to, like, get Sid onto the disc somehow. He isn't... He is pretty light. And he is... In water... I if you would want to try and lift him, you could, or you could try and signal to the other characters, like one of the other characters. But they might be hard to get the attention of, because they're swimming currently. But you're just standing there, next to Sid. They actually probably see you, which is weird. Because they're probably like, what the actual shit? So what are you going to do? Are you going to try and signal to them, or are you going to try and... This is fucked up. Do it yourself. It is kind uh, of fucked up. I guess I'll signal to them, and if it doesn't work, then I will just, like, pop out of the water and then go back into it after screaming to them. Okay. So, how are you going to signal? Are you going to scream? Are you going to point? What? What's What's the What's the move? I'll, I mean, I'll basically walk... I mean, I can walk over where they're coming to, because they're moving slower than I am, I guess. Yeah, I mean, you're already you know, there. You're, like, standing there. Yeah, next I'm just going to go there, and I'll, be like, I'll kind of wave, and then I'll kind of vertically, like, go up, and then vertically go down, and then kind of point. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. Oh, my God. Let's have both. I, I'm, out of, I'm out of character, and I still am not quite understanding what you're trying to say. Yeah, uh, so let's <laughs> have let's have Guthix and Solus both make intelligence checks. Well, there would be uh, there would be a movement to the water that they're seeing, wouldn't they? Because I'm displacing water. Yeah, I mean they see you, but I I think the that they're. Would the oh my god! Water. Oh my god! All right. Hey. Finally, somebody makes a roll. So Guthix maybe kind of figures out. Oh wait, it looks like Kegel is able to move that disc with herself somehow you have no idea how she's even down here breathing like whatever but somehow it seems to be working and she seems to be so you think maybe if we just get him on this fucking disc okay is it uh, my turn? and it is your turn yeah 
Okay, so Guthix is going to try his hardest to move Sid onto that disc. Okay, all right. So that actually, like, doesn't take as much force, because the disc is right there. It's just at her waist level, which is like, I mean, it's literally just kind of pulling him up on. Yeah, 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 it's like a foot off the ground. So you kind of pull him up onto this disc, and I'm assuming once he's on the disc, Kegel's going to move upwards, going to levitate up. Who, well, who's 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 on the disc right now? Sit. He's pulling Sid onto the disc. Okay, I'm gonna go over and well, here I'll send you a message. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what is this? All, all that work to lift the disc and then he's not gonna goddamn do it. Cause they're in the water. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> <laughs> they're in the water. And then I'm gonna, and then and then I shall move the disc up. Ah, uh, how is that even gonna work? I don't know. Dude, oh she's my! Saying that they're, they're underwater, so. Yeah, what the dick? Hang on for a second. Let me just read something here. I don't know. Oh my god, he's making him bust out the rule book. Oh yeah. Make it interesting. Okay. All right. We'll see. We'll see what fucking oh, happens. I don't know. Okay. All right. So, okay. Yeah. yeah. This could be that, interesting. And then, and then and then I lift the disc. All right. So, uh, Kegel brings, uh, brings Sid to the surface, and then uh. <clears throat> Now that you've lifted the disc out of the water, you're just, like, floating. Now that you've come back up above where the water is, there's water now. It wasn't there before, but it's there now. Just underneath you. And Sid. And the disc. And, of course, Ooh. Argyle's already floating on the water. So now there's actual water. Yes. Okay. Um... I'm going to go over to the side where there was no water. How are you going to make it over there? Oh, fuck. I can't go over that way. Can't move vertically. And, uh, okay, so now, uh, Guthix and... and, The disc follows me, right? Yeah, the disc does follow you. So if you... You could technically just swim... You could yeah. te- technically just lower yourself back into the water and just swim over to the thing, and the disc would follow yeah. you, and Sid would stay on the disc and be fine. Well, I want to kick the- Sid off the disc, so the people above are just like, get him off. Like, what? I don't want Sid. I don't want Sid on the disc because there's people what? above right now. What? You're isn't not there, making sense, JT. Isn't there people that are not in the water above the water? No, no, you were not in the water above the water because you were you levitated up out of the water. But Solus and Guthix and and Argyle are now kind of treading at the top of the water. I'm assuming probably heading back to the platform. What's Sid doing? Sid's unconscious. Okay. Well, then hopefully they all get him, because I'm going to swim over to where the steps are and then go back down. You're going to swim over to the st- where the steps are, or you're going to swim over to the other ledge? Because the, oh, the yeah. ledge that they're, that they're prob- the ledge that the torch is on is, like, no. not the ledge where the stairs are. No, the st- no, where the stairs are, where I just walk straight down. Okay, so you're going to go back over to the stairs. Yeah, and just do it all over again. Why? Why? His thinking is, if he gets to the stairs, he can go back down. And do, he can go back down, and the illusion will will kick back. Because you he said won't be in the water, came back up. So I don't know if I go straight back down if it's actually water, because they're all floating all slow and weird and shit. So I'm kind of like, okay. That's well, no, they, that's what I'm saying. Once you came up out and you were above the level where the water was, you could see the water. 
and you could see them on the water and it looked normal like they were just on water and they were kind of swimming back that's a good question what is everybody doing so well, I, I don't yeah, want to so, assume that everybody's well, like swimming back is what is what are argyle guthics and solus doing at the moment um guthics uh well he just moved sit onto the platform uh solus is on the way to meet sid to try to slap the ring on well yeah she already like took them up though so that like basically once once they saw uh kegel raise uh sid out of the water i'm asking what they're doing next after that they're i'm assuming just coming back up to the surface right because they don't have any reason to stay no reason to be down here yeah yeah but then once you're up on the surface, what I'm saying is that Sid, I mean, not Sid, Sid's still on the platform or on the floating desk. Argyle, Guthix, and Solus are, are on, at the top of the water now. My question is, what are they doing? Um, making sure Sid is alive. <laughs> so you okay. see Kegel come up and she's kind of floating above the water and Sid is on a platform and he is also floating above the water. So all, f- all five of you are kind of together right now. So what Kegel's trying to figure out, because Kegel should know if this water is water or not. Because like, if I was able to breathe under it and I was able to like walk straight down but I was looking at everyone else, and they were seemingly, when I was walking down, I was all the way on the ground, like, at the bottom, with my disc. Yes. It looked like they were, like, slowly moving, as you described it, like they were mm-hmm. swimming or moving around. So, like, I was trying to understand, like, if that's the physics of this thing, like, is this... Is 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 there a point where like the illusion becomes like actual real water, or is this like do I need to go and swim over to the steps to walk back down again to get beneath where I was before, or can I just take the disc and go straight back down again and I can still breathe? I have no fucking clue. Yeah. So basically, from your perspective, there was no water. Once you got above the point where the water would be, there was water. So, okay, it, so to to your vantage, it looks like there is water. So that's what I was saying. I'm swinging over to where the steps are so I can walk back down below the water again. Okay. So what I'm like saying also is like hey, we're kind of in turns now. So everybody's all okay. here at once. So Kegel looks like she's heading back to the stairs. What is everybody else doing? That's my question. Like literally you you kind of all are together. What's everybody kind of doing? Okay, and is well, is Kegel swimming over to the stairs? Kegel doesn't have to swim. No, because she, she can't move laterally. She can only move up yeah. and down. Remember, we've already established this. That's why I'm trying to figure out what everybody's doing. What is everybody doing? Uh, I'll swimming. just go back to the stairs. Or, or where the torch is on that platform before. Just get out of the fucking water. Okay, which is kind of what I assumed that your characters were probably go- doing was trying to get back to guy. the thing. Okay. I'm waiting till everybody else talks because everybody's talking. I'm just waiting my turn. Okay, so Argyle. And, and then, um. God fucking damn it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, JT. <laughs> you knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. So what Argyle is going to do, Argyle, once he's kind of gotten his bearings in the water, figures that all his shit's right below him. Argyle's had to do this before, so Argyle knows how to do this. He's going to go down, grab some of his stuff, come back up, go to the platform, go back down, get more of his shit, go back... That's basically what Argyle is going to do for the next couple rounds. Okay, so nobody, nobody's concerned about Sid whatsoever. That's that's my my that's what I'm trying to figure out. Like Sid is I just. I don't know old. anything about Sid. I'm I just came up myself, so I don't know anything about Sid. That's why so, I, I described that everybody was kind of all there together. So everybody kind of sees everybody else. So my my question is, everybody just ignores everybody. Is that what happens? 
Because that's fine if that's what it does, but that's I'm just trying to get a clue about what you guys are doing. So what I understand is that Sid is on the platform, which can only move laterally, right? And, yeah. And, and Kegel is walking away, walking, swimming, whatever. I guess swimming. Um, to- yeah. Towards the towards stairs. Towards the stairs. With, with Sid on the platform. Correct. So, I mean, yeah, I'm just going to follow and get out of the water. We can talk after we've caught our breath and stuff. Well, no, but you're headed to the platform. She's headed to the stairs. Yeah, but doesn't the platform follow Kegel? Yeah, but behind me. Are like... we talking about the same platform? Or are we talking about the magic okay. platform? No, he's, we... Okay, so whatever he's doing, he's headed toward the floating disc. He's not headed toward the platform. He's basically saying he's headed toward the floating disc, right? Yes. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so towards Kegel. Yeah. Okay. I All guess right. this got lost in translation somehow. Yeah, yeah. The platform being the platform that, that Solus left the... When I say platform, I mean the platform that Solus left the torch on. That's like a stone platform that's out of the water on yes, the one side. Yeah, di- different platform. Yeah, yeah. The floating disc is just a small magic disc that happens to be carrying the body of Sid at the moment. Yeah, I'm more concerned about Sid than some random platform. Yeah, yeah. So... Argyle then is is he going towards the platform or the stairs? Where's his because obviously he was just floating in the water. Where's his base gonna be for going up and down? The light. Okay. So Argyle and Solus going towards the the platform and uh and and Kegel and Guthix going towards the stairs is the idea. Correct? Yeah. I guess. So, yeah. Okay. As Argyle goes down, grabs stuff. Yeah, that's his. Okay. His so we're we're not there yet because uh, we we still got to figure something out because I, I like. Uh, what is Kegel doing? What is Guthix doing? Do do I have to go? Do we like? Ah, uh, jeez. Do we need to go back into initiative again to figure out like timing for things or are you guys? <laughs> I know what I my character wants to do. I know I what you're doing is, too. That's I think what I'm trying to figure. Everybody else is confused. I yeah, really do. That's what I'm trying to figure out. What everybody else is doing. Um, who's Cameron on move. The water right now? Can't, can't, hold on, Steve. Stop. What's that? Cameron move. Nope. Cameron uh, Cameron's just sent a frozen. To the chat. He, his computer just crashed. He froze. Damn it. Uh, this is. This is He's like two of the characters, so no, we've got to hold off for a second. <laughs> Cameron's got this great look on his face right now, too. <laughs> he does. I know. Mm, he's actually, got... looks, he, if, if somebody <laughs> needs to that. take that and then, like... like that's, a, that's a screenshot. So Somebody needs to, like, put a... Um, put put a... 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 a, a a smokable object into his hand at that point because that's exactly mm. what that looks like. True. Oh my goodness, you guys are stressing me out. <laughs> yeah, this, this has Actually, been one stressful uh, session. I, I I just had a thought. Uh, Harrison, are you still with us? Because we haven't like even talked to you for like literally a half hour. Harrison drowned. Now, Harris, I mean, his character was sitting on the steps. Yeah, his character's so perfectly sure, fine. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure he didn't fall asleep. Knowing Harrison, he's probably just playing melee on the side. Yeah. He's completely. Or he actually might have fallen asleep. Yeah, because I'm, ask, I'm asking for him. I'm asking, Harrow, are you there? Yeah. And he's not answering. He's he not might answering. Have just, it's possible he might have that crashed. he fell asleep. Yeah. yeah that is yes, he might that's have a possibility. But I mean, if his character is like sitting on the steps and waiting for people to come back for him, mm-hmm. and nobody knows this, true. Well, wait a minute. No. Yeah. So. I'm gonna assume he abandoned us and uh, went back up to the ship. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> he was like, "Fuck this shit. We're going. I'm leaving." I mean, he might very well have because he'd be like, "Uh." You'd be like, I don't know what's going on down below. They're all gone. 
maybe I should just leap this, like, chasm back up and, like, make it back up to the ship and uh, see what's going on with Mike. <laughs> yeah. Go get a rescue party. Go get, get a rescue party. <laughs> All right. So, Argyle and Solus make it back to the platform with the torch burning on it. And Argyle starts to make preparations to, to try and swim down and go and grab his crap. Uh, yeah. Kegel and Guthix make it over to the stairs right about at the same time. And obviously Sid is right there on the platform. So, Guthix, you've gotten to Sid. He's on the platform. Or not on the platform. Because you said platform, and now I'm saying platform. And I mean floating disc. He's on the floating Cameron disc. Cameron just left. He oh, oh. came back. Shit. So, Cameron just left and came back. Yo, you here? Did I leave again? You did, yeah. yeah. You did. What? It might be the fucking weather. I don't know what's happening. Yeah, yeah maybe. It is, it is raining really hard down here now. True, true. Yeah, we had a tornado warning a little while ago, so. Huh. Yeah. Uh. So anyway, Guthix is at Sid. Hmm. Uh, okay, Guthix is at Sid. Guthix is going to uh, use his healing to do anything that he can. Okay. So he has arrived at oh, Harrison's Sid. Gone. Harrison's gone now. Oh shit. Hmm. <laughs> he was asleep. He rolled over and hit a button and he's just gone. Disastrous. Oh jeez. Oh, Does Guthix not have? <clears throat> oh, Guthix isn't the one that has it. It's Solus that has it. Ah. Uh. Guthix does uh doesn't have any spells or anything memorized. I mean, Solus has the healing spell. I mean, uh, if need be, the Guthix can definitely and probably will pull out some healing. Yeah, yeah. You mean Solus has the healing proficiency, which well, is everyone, yeah, I, which I is imagine. less good than than probably what Guthix would have if Guthix has a cure. Well, memorized. yeah, but uh, everyone, everyone can still have their healing kits on them. Except Argyle, who's down, who's is down. Yeah, the that's of the... also the true. So I just think of it in, in situations like this, the healing skill is good to like stabilize, yeah. and then you apply on top of it. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, yeah. Does, but Guthix doesn't have a healing ability, but it, he does have a healing kit, though, does he not? He has a healing kit, but yeah. uh, if if we can leave it to the professionals, it's you know best to do that. Guthix yeah. doesn't have a healing skill. Guthix does not. It's Solus that does. But does he have a cure spell? Guthix does have a cure spell. Yeah, because that's the thing. A cure spell is really going to help. Because uh, Sid was at... Let's see. He was down... Negative 18 points. 13 hit points. Jesus. It's only negative four. So he was at negative four. Yeah, it's actually probably a good thing. That cure light wounds brings him up to negative one and stabilizes him from dying. That's good. <clears throat> so yeah, Sid was uh Sid was not in a good spot. You guys are lucky you almost lost party members. Remember this. <laughs> hey, it's Please. Not happen every once in a while. Please, remember this. I know, but uh, I'm thinking of so many other better ways that this could have been handled. We're not going to talk about it right now. It's fine. I'm just saying. Don't let your characters die over some stupid stairway. At least get killed by, like, dragons or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally dying by the stairway. Ask Dan what that feels like, to die by, like, a wall. Yeah. Doesn't feel good, man. No. Now, <laughs> granted, that wall was full of poisonous tentacles. Yeah, it's true. Still. 
but it still was a wall. It yeah. still was a wall, and you didn't have to go near it. No. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, hmm. cool. Anyway, all right. Well, we're here now. So, is Jay with us, Kegel? Yes. Okay. All right. So, uh, Sid is still on your platform. What are you guys going to do with Sid? Because he is currently still unconscious. <clears throat> he, so he's on your floating disc. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing, Key Cat? Are you oh. guys going to just like chuck him up on the stairs so that oh, he's like, up right, above so the I'm water? I'm trying to figure out how this physically work. All right, if I go back that all right, so if he's on the disc, mm-hmm. and then... I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can Oh, my God. Siri <laughs> 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 can't um, help. I don't have an answer for that. <laughs> well, if he's on the disc... Um, yeah. And I'm swimming. He's yeah. following yeah, and the so the disc is like practically like right on the water because right. again yeah. it's like it's level with your waist, and if you're swimming, your waist is roughly well, level I'm with water. Out, if walking down the steps again, will he stay on the disc or will he like float on the water? It appears to you that he like the- that he will that the disc will submerge in water. And that he will likely submerge with the disc. That's what it appears to you will happen at the moment. Okay. Because at the moment, your perception is that there's water here, and everybody's perception is that there's water. Well, can here. someone grab? I'm a, I'm basically going to ask, and someone can grab a hold of him. Okay. I mean, God, Gothics can probably grab a hold of him. If is Cameron? Cameron, can you hear us? Are you here? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I <clears throat> I guess Kegel asked you to grab. Um, I'm grabbing. Are you going to get up on the stairs then? Because really where you guys are at the moment, the stairs is like the only <laughs> non-water yeah. area. I'll go and, you know, get behind his arms and drag him onto the steps. Okay. All right. So, Kegel, you are free of Sid. All uh, right. I'll start walking down the steps. Okay. So you get up on the steps, and then you start to walk down the steps. And as you walk down the steps, you're dry. There's no water. I'm going to go all the way down the steps again and see who's down there or what's down there. Okay. So now you're down at the bottom of the steps, and there's no urgency. There's nobody like down here just like dying or whatever the hell was going on before. You're not even sure if you completely understand. Explore. So you start looking around. Are you going to do any searching? Uh, technically, I don't know. I didn't really told you what spells I was going to have before I even started this whole adventure. Did um, you so you can... your spells first. I, I, could like spells. I could do detect magic he if did, I want. He didn't list his spells because he thought he was a completely different character. Ah, oh, yeah, I mean, that's well, I right. I can't really get into that, but uh, so I'm kind of like flying by seat of my pants here. So I was kind of thinking, I mean, I, I don't, I, I, I could do a detect magic, but everything would light up. But I'm trying to figure out, like, I, I, like I want to search for shit to try to see if there's like a hidden doorway or something down here. Yeah. That would be like, oh, you know, because this has got to be something. There's no reason that we can just walk down these steps. Yeah, I mean, like, you can. Do you just? I mean, do you, you could you could search with good. magic, or you could just search. I mean, you you yeah. have like decent search abilities, like your, yeah, your I mean, character. Searching. You could just regularly search. Um, is that what you want to do? At first, yeah. Okay, search. sure. All right. Um, do I? Does Argyle notice what he what what Kegel just did? Probably not, because she's like on the other side. So Argyle is like probably swim back down. So probably at about the time that Kegel is down 
on the ground, like in the room that is the water, and she's just kind of walking around down there. She is going to see Argyle kind of kind of doing his swimming swimming, his, yeah. swimming thing, and he's in midair kind of doing like this, trying to get to his stuff. So that's what you see. That's the th like you start to search, and like as soon as you start to search, you like hear something behind you, and you like turn around, and that's what you see is Argyle in the water or like in the air, literally going like this. Jay, yeah, I can't see shit. I just switched screens again. Did you hear my description, though? Did you hear what I said? Oh, no, Orgal, something literally like this, but I didn't see what you Oh, were yeah, for. like swimming is what I was, what I, I was yeah. miming swimming, like, but, but... I'm just, I'm just looking and just going, okay, and I'm still looking, because that, that's just dumb. Okay. I'm just like, like he's not die, dying or anything. No, no, nah, nah, he's not... Him. He's not dying, but his stuff's he, down there. Like, there's a pile of his stuff, like his armor. Is there armor. Any gold or anything? Is there anything like, good? Well, yeah, like all his stuff. I mean, if he's got money or anything, I might just grab it. I mean, he probably has a bag of, like, stuff. Are you going to rifle yeah. through his things? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, Argyle. I he's going to punch her. If he, well, she's like, what the fuck? Okay, so first of all, like... You might not even... She's, like, small, and you're in the water, and it's dark, and the light is above. You you might not even see her. Roll an intelligence check to see if you even see her down here. <laughs> like, why not? Yeah, no. you don't even see her. You're just trying to grab your shit. It's dark. She's got infravision. You don't. I just want money. So... Or gold. Yeah. So, so you're like start rummaging around and like uh all right so here's what we're gonna do argyle uh roll a dexterity check and uh yeah i got that all right all right so you the first you end up grabbing your armor and your weapons like the big things that you can see the first thing mm -hmm. you grab is, like, your armor, because that's the big thing. Right. And you're probably going to have to take things kind of, like, one at a time, because, like, armor is going to be fucking hard to get up. Yeah, yeah. Well, actually, what he's going to do... Are you going to try and tie a rope to things and then pull it up? No. He knows that he fell near the stairs. He's going to go toward the stairs. Because that's the closer, that's closer to for him. Yeah, yeah, so he's gonna go I see. The stairs. So he's going to try and drag the armor over to the stairs and then just walk up the stairs out of the water. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so then you're doing that. Kegel is searching. Argyle comes up out of the water with his uh armor is he gonna put it on or what is he gonna do no he's got to go back and get the rest of his stuff he's still got a bag down there. as soon as he gets up there sid and there's not much room on these stairs because sid and guthix are kind of up there like Guth mm -hmm. like sid's still passed out and guthix is kind of like you know tending to him on the stairs mm -hmm. so what are you doing so, like, if there's, is there no room to put the armor there? I mean, you could probably, there's enough room to put the armor, but there's probably not that much room for the other things. Hmm. Well, for right now, he just wants to get everything out of the water. Okay. So he's just going to put everything and go back and get the rest of his shit. All right, so he just puts the armor down? Mm-hmm. So, is he going to just jump back into the water? Well, does he see the stairs right there? So, if he turns around, he looks down the stairs. That looks weird. Doesn't look He's like there's walk. water. He's going to walk down there to see what the heck happens. He walks down. Now he's down in this place and it's the place with his stuff 
where there was water. It was filled with water, and he was drowning previously. But there's no water. And Kegel's searching the walls and stuff down here. He's going to walk over and grab the rest of his shit. He does that. Then he's going to walk back. He's going to put everything on. Right? Okay. Then he's going to do the same thing. He's going to be fully armored. He's going to walk down the steps, across, reach up, grab the ledge, and try to pull himself up. He can do that, but the ledge is about 11 feet. How tall is Argyle? He might actually... Six foot three. Eh... Does he need to stand on some so or shoulders? He might be able to take a, a, a short jump and and grab he'll try all right try. uh yeah uh make a strength check i'm, I'm thinking that's gonna be like a strength check make a little jump and pull yourself up yeah yeah, yeah you're able to yeah. like hop kind of hop and pull yourself up here's the thing am i wet oh yeah yes yes you are wet i am wet yes even though i so i was 100 from before you were what? yeah yeah, anybody I'm that was wet, wet before, in the water is wet. I was wet from before, but I'm not more wet. You're not more wet. You wet. You <laughs> no, wet. no, you're not extra <laughs> wet. If you're like in the shower, as I pull myself back in the shower, can you be more wet than you were than before you were in the shower? Yes, actually so. So as he pulls himself up, is he pulling himself up? out of nothing or is he pulling himself out of the water he's pulling himself up out of the air just normal it's still it's harder to do than it would be if he was in water okay so if i pull myself up and i get onto the get onto the deck and then i look back is there water yes well that's fucking weird <laughs> he's got all his stuff so he's okay reality is breaking down down here uh, but Kegel has found something. Uh, no. Gothix is up here with me, right? Uh, Gothix, if you get over to the stairs mm -hmm. and you walk down the stairs... Gothix is already over the stairs. You're talking to Solus if you're on the platform. Solus. Yeah. So if, you go to, if you get over <laughs> to the stairs and then you walk down the stairs, you're not in the water anymore. What do you mean? I can see the water right there. But, but, uh, it's one of them magic things, I think. Uh, oh, okay. Let me, let me try down that. There. Kegel is down there. Okay, so Solus does as Argyle instructs and walks down the water stair. Well, the water. You well, how swim do you, over. you gotta swim over first. Because you're oh, on the platform, just... and the stairs are, like, well, kind of on the other side of the room. Speaking of this platform, is there anything here? Is it just, like, a, a raised platform in the water? It's just a platform, and, like, just, yeah, it's it just, it's up against the one wall. So, okay. uh, let's see here. Oh, uh, kind of... That for a second. If... If that's the room... The platform is like on one side, and the stairs kind of like kind of like go down this way. So the stairs kind of enter the water over here, if that makes sense. Gotcha. All right. Um, I'll just I'm interested in this fancy smanchy uh, magic. Thing so I'll I'll tread over to where the stairs into the water. Okay, when you Check tread over out. there, uh, Guthix and uh, Sid are over there, and uh, Kegel is down in. And uh, when you look down the stairs, it doesn't look like there's water. Like when you're like looking directly down the stairs, like you're gonna walk down in the stairs. And now it doesn't look like there's water down there. It just looks like stairs down to like ground floor. Okay, so I head on down. 
So you head on down, and uh, Kegel seems to be uh, looking and searching in, in uh, a part of the wall. Kegel, you have found what you believe to be a secret door. Ooh. It is against... It is actually right here. So next to the platform. Yeah, like basically like r almost right where you pulled yourself pulled up. up. Yeah. Okay. And okay. you and Argyle, you are now aware that that Kegel is like down there and that so is Solus, and that they seem to be just down there. You can see them, and it looks like they're in the water to you, but you can tell that they're just standing there, not affected by the water, presumably. Like I was. Like you were. But you can see from your vantage point, it still looks like water. But yeah, Kegel, you found some seams in the that kind of go all the way around and like a, a like a large door type shape. Okay. Um, Kegel is not one to do something by herself. Uh, um, Solus is right behind you. Okay, wait. How far are people behind me? Well, Solus is right. He's like down here in this in this bottom. So he's kind of right at your back at the moment. Uh, I'm waiting uh, for someone to walk up behind me. That's what I'm asking, but not too close. That's probably Solus is right. Like so I do have a disc following me. That's why I'm asking. Oh yeah, I mean he's gonna see your disc. Is anyone going to step on the disc? I mean probably no. not. <clears throat> what is with you and this disc, man? Yeah. Also, I gotta see like how long does this thing even last? I don't know. That's what I'm wondering. If, like if it's like it's pulling about my waist, right? So if someone's gonna walk into it, is I mean. It's it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> it's very, yeah. it's it's kind of small, you know. It's only like two feet, I think. Uh, well, that's fine. I just didn't know what would like how it would affect the party if they're falling or moving up on me and stuff. I mean, yeah, I and I don't think it makes that much of a difference. I mean, he's gonna see it and be able to avoid it, and you can kind of move it around. Uh, let's see. Uh, food, that that shit lasts an hour too, so that's probably still active. Okay, I wanted to uh, point at the door, um, and let everyone like come down, I guess, and like gain entry behind me or whatever. So who's coming down, like, and in, in behind me at this point? Just Solus at the moment, unless uh, unless Guthix is gonna carry Sid down. I thought Argyle was like. I'm on the platform above you, and I'm looking down into the water at this point. Oh uh, well, I'll get a point to this thing, uh, and 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 then like be like, I'll, I'll try to talk. I guess I can talk. I don't know. Can you hear me if I talk? So. Oh. Hello. So, Solus can hear you. Argyle can probably hear like a like a like a muffled kind of like and but uh, as far as actually understanding what you're saying, it might be a little difficult. Well, I guess I'll see if I can push on this door, and if anything happens, when you push on the door. Though, hmm, let me think about that for a second, because the Argyle can understand what you say, because Argyle has his nut Ah. Uh. And it is it where it's a it's it's a, a nut of comprehension so it's going to allow him to understand you even like if he can't. So, I'm I actually going to say that he like, does understand. Yes, he can't. but I don't I don't know that he can understand me. Uh, you found a door? 
Yeah. But he's, I can't hear him because he's speaking through water. Well, no, but you also have your nuts, so. Oh. Uh, and he's, like, you know, speaking, he's outside the water, so his voice probably carries a little bit more. So, yeah, yeah, you can hear him. You, you, like, you yes. understand him. I'm you like, understand yeah, each other. All right, I can also just, like, vertically ascend and be like, yeah, I found a door, and then go back down, which I'm going to no, do. Wait, wait. Take me over to the steps again so I can get down there to help you. I can't. Don't you have that disc? My kid, go horizontally. You can swim. You just, you swim, you swam before. Yeah. Argyle can just stand on the disc, like squat on the disc yeah, while you I'll, swim I'll, over. Why do all the work? Yeah, but I, see, the problem is he has to have you do that because he's put himself in a spot where he can't get back down without going into the water. Oh, God. Because right, he yeah. climbed up. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't know any bad. I thought people were going to come over to that. I mean... Exactly. So you could... Yeah, drown. Uh, yeah, okay, yeah. I'll, 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 yeah, I'll just, I'll do that to get this thing going. And then we got to, <laughs> it's almost 10.30, so yeah, yeah. we lost the character. Yeah, So yeah. I, I want to get to the point where we, we have someone who needs healed still, correct? Yeah. Yeah, Saint could use some healing. Yeah, I think yeah. we could probably all use a little bit of healing. Yeah, so, yeah. So let's, let's, let's get everyone, um... On the same page, yeah. On so if page. if Kegel swims across and gets Argyle over, and they're both they both get onto the uh, the stairs, then everybody can essentially walk down and be in the the bottom part without uh, without problem. If it also means, means that somebody could technically go back up and get Ren, and you know, since we're probably not going to go super too much further tonight. It'd be easy to just say that, oh, we sent so and so up to get Ren, and Ren came back down. So that way everybody's together. I could be like, hey, get on my disc, and I could float straight back down or whatever. Exactly. Yeah, hop on this disc, bitch. Yeah. Hop on it. This floating disc in the dark. Yeah. This disc in the dark. Disc in the dark. Baby. Yeah, so we will, uh, so let's go ahead and assume that uh, everybody down in the, the thing with the no water via the stairs, and uh, this was a messed up session. Yeah, it was crazy. It was not how I thought this was going to go at all. But it was fun. That's the point. It was crazy. All right, so I Sid... Uh, is anybody going to try and apply some, uh, does anybody have anything that they can do to Sid here? I'm going to give Sid some potion. I'll go ahead and give my, uh, some healing potion to Sid. Yeah. Plus, Sid's got his own healing potion. Actually, no. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Sid's healing potion and give Sid his own healing potion. His quick heal? Yes, from yeah, from you uh, feed that shit to him. Ooh, he actually got a good roll. Six back, which actually puts you what at five, and makes. Uh, yeah. Okay, so you, you, you force Sid's healing potion, uh, down his throat, and uh, Sid. Wait a minute, did Kegel force her disc down his throat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, let's see. Sid needs to make a saving throw versus poison. Oh, yeah. Why? <laughs> Why? That worked. Okay. So Why Sid, you're you okay. Need... You just like you just woke up and you're like. <coughs> Why does he need to make a saving throw versus poison? No reason. No. No reason. <laughs> uh, that was that was a bad plan, I think. Uh. Oh uh, yeah. Uh. Next time I ask to throw you, you better say no. <laughs> 
because Argyle is probably going to forget and ask to throw him again at some point in the future. <laughs> so we we can take, <laughs> can we te- we technically could rest underwater at this point. I mean, you could, but we don't. Have, I'm not going to because that kind of dumb. It is like, how long did we say for them to come back for us? You said 12 hours, I think. Yeah, so yeah. we really can't rest. So, yeah. I mean, you could thing. rest, but it would take up, like, well, you'd only have a couple hours after that, and then you'd need yeah. to head back. Argyle still got a lot of hit points. He could probably go for a while before he needs to, before he really needs to rest and heal up. So I guess what is the party going to do? You're down in this area. At the moment, it seems like there's no imminent danger. Well, it's 1030. We're standing yeah. in front of a door. Why don't we make that decision when we come back? Because next time. remember, next week, I'm not going to be here. So you guys need to come up with a different plan. Gotcha. Because you're going to be listening to some music. I am going to be yeah. in Washington, D.C. Oh, wow. Listening to Journey and Toto. Sweet. Real quick, what's everybody's current hit points? Uh, Solus, current hit points. All right, well, Bernita, I would uh, I'm pretty sure Solus was at 17, is that right? 17 of 19. All right. Uh, let's see. Sid, current hit points, 5, right? Uh, yep. Uh, Kegel, current hit points? 15! Gothic's current hit points? 16 of 16. And Argyle current hit points? <laughs> Took the most damage. Still has more hit points than everybody. 18 of 35. Yeah. Yep. I mean, life of a fighter, right? Pure fighter. This is true, yes. Mm-hmm. That's, that's how that works. Yep. Cool, cool. I... All right. Next time. <laughs> We will potentially not super die. Yeah, so, yeah. Just, just as a, so that's the tenth. The seventeenth is the day that I actually re- arrive home from California. Oh my goodness! So I will be actually able to play on the seventeenth. You're gonna be all lagged and. Well, no. No, because I'm I'm flying from California on the 16th. I'm staying in a hotel in D.C. and I'm taking the train up. So I'll be mm. rested. I'm just going to be. I'm not even driving back home. I'm taking the train back home. So basically, going to be resting in the train. I'll be fine to play on the following Tuesday. Ooh. Okay. I well, just won't be just here. Keep I, us, yeah. Keep us updated. Here. Really. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll figure it out. Either way, uh, we'll have to yeah. figure out what we want to do next week for those of us who are here. But in the meantime, if you're on YouTube, like, subscribe, hit the smash button. Steve, don't forget to put last week's just the tip up because you haven't done it yet. Did he not? No, I haven't. Nah, seen it yet. nah, because I was super busy. I'll get it up. But uh, yes, yeah, I promise, MS baby, Life I'll get button. it up. <laughs> oh, but uh, <laughs> hey, yeah, do all that stuff and subscribe on Twitch. Do all the do all the things, like all the things, make all the things, and yeah, all the the things. Thing. and share all the things or yeah. all our things, as in the. You know, those things that are in the dark. No, don't share yeah. those. Actually, no, better not. You might get shadow banned. And, and maybe we'll share our things in the dark if you subscribe to us on Patreon. And, you know, uh, earlier in the night, earlier in this this session, Steve almost shared his thing true. in the dark yeah. when he stood up for our small break. A little, little sneak peek for you there. Yeah, yeah. It was it could have been just the tip. We we don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'll review it. 
see. <laughs> <laughs> the VOD zoom in. All right. When it happens. Goodbye, people on the stream. I'm going to shut the stream off. Good night, everyone. Later. <laughs>